Welcome back to the channel of Kim Pacific. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you about a very important topic that is the flux general molecule from the chapter Organometallics. Before we get started, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. And also, if you like your video, to press the like button. Now, let's get started. Actually, I made uh, two more videos earlier and uh, do check them out if you actually want to know it and have proper knowledge about it. Now, um, in my previous video, I actually gave you an example that uh, it was the protons due to the rapid interchange of the protons, the molecules were exhibiting fluxional behavior and sometimes the molecules are also uh, uh, behaving as a fluxional molecule at high temperature. But not necessarily that Hamesha ye protons he ek dusre uh, position se rapid interchange karte hai. Sometimes groups of atoms also karte. I repeat, sometimes there are also some groups of atoms jo ki uska rapid movement ke wajay se uska flagginal behavior dikhate hai. And how is it so? Let's see. So here I have taken one beautiful example. Yaha pe, jo group of atom ke baare mein hum baat kar rahe the, it is like FeCO4. This is the tetracarbonyl iron atom. Okay, so yaha pe you can see that there is an aline system. This is the tetramethyl aline system. Waha pe kya ho raha hai? At high temperature, if the temperature means, if I'm considering the temperature to be enough high, to waha pe hum dekhenge. With the increase of temperature, when the temperature is enough high, we are getting one peak. And dheere dheere jase hum temperature ko decrease karte jare, decrease karte karte hum jare to minus 60 degrees Celsius. Waha pe ye jo ek it is now showing us three peaks and how and why is it so so that's what I'm going to explain right now see what is happening you can see in this uh, diagram you can also see what happens that FeCO4 is that group of atoms which is actually make whizzing around this aline system so whizzing around means it is making a constant and rapid movement so this is a word very interesting and important this is whizzing around Aline system. Now, see what is happening when the temperature is extremely low. When the temperature is considered is extremely low, uh, let us consider temperature to be minus sixty degrees Celsius. In the extremely low temperature, wahape the non-equivalent protons they were actually giving the peaks. So let us uh, first of all examine how many non-equivalent protons are there. If you consider the structure one here, you can see there are three non-equivalent protons and who and what are they? See, wahape this is having proton H A is se so this is considering one which is the cis form okay this is cis to this group of atoms of tetracarbonyl iron so this is cis to this and now you are having the another and this is the trans one okay this is in the transposition Okay, so this is proton A, this is proton B, and also we can also see so there are actually six. There are actually six hydrogen atoms in a plane which is perpendicular to the carbon iron bond. Okay, so there are definitely three types of protons. So how many protons H A are there? Here, three numbers are there. You are having three numbers of cis protons, three numbers of trans protons, and six number of the protons of the hydrogen atoms, six hydrogen atoms, which is perpendicular to the carbon iron bond. Okay, so this for this reason you are getting the peaks in a ratio of three is to three is to six, which you can also write in the form reduced form of 1 is to 1 is to 2 so therefore at low temperature due to three non-equivalent proton we are actually getting total three picks one due to the cis one due to the trans and the other due to the 
hydrogen atoms which are actually lying at a plane perpendicular to the carbon iron bond so we are getting three peaks so how many peaks we are getting so three peaks are obtained over here okay now let us move on to the next one see now this is happening when the molecule is actually enough rigid so what will happen when you are increasing the temperature so actually with the increase of temperature the spectrum collapses to a single resonance for the average environment of the 12 hydrogens over the alien pi systems so what is happening with the increase of temperature now you are increasing the temperature so at room temperature also you can say so at the temperature high temperature when the temperature is increased now due to the rapid movement or the wheezing of this group of atoms along this alien system it's not rapid as if all the protons they appear to be equivalent rather the, the spectrophotometer for the time scale hai, it is not enough to actually distinguish the non-equivalent protons it, it appears to the spectrophotometer as if all the protons are equivalent therefore as a result of which at high temperature with increase of temperature due to the wheezing or the rapid movement of this group of atoms that is a group of tetracarbonyl iron what is happening you are actually getting one peak so this is also i have given a beautifully in a note form for you all students so please uh, subscribe our channel more and more encourage us to make encourage me to make more and more videos so i promise you to provide you the best content see this i have given in the note form what is happening example rapid interchange of the protons protons group of atoms and that is a migration of the iron in the tetracarbonyl tetramethyl iron zero okay so um, again the nomenclature you are having tetracarbonyl uh, how many ligands are there here two types of ligands one is the carbonyl and the other is the methyl so carbonyl according to the nomenclature c alphabetically pehle aayenge so tetracarbonyl then tetramethyl iron zero because the overall complex is neutral jab overall complex anionic ho jate hai tab uska naam et ho jate hai agar wo complex anionic hota hai matlab wo third bracket ke upar koi negative charge hoga to iron will get converted to ferrite cobalt cobaltet rhodium rhodet aisa ho jata hai okay now uh, for the pi complex formed between the tetramethyl anion and the tetracarbonyl iron the nmr spectrum below the 600 degree celsius kya ho raha hai teen peaks dikha raha hai in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 2 iske wajah se due to the three cis hydrogen atoms ki wajah se dikha raha hai aur three trans hydrogen atoms ki wajah se dikha raha hai aur the six hydrogen atom jo ki perpendicular hai to the carbon carbon iron bond theek hai temperature jaise jaise increase ho gaya hai so with the increase of temperature kya ho gaya the spectrum collapses into a single line a single resonance for the average environment matlab sare ke sare protons abhi distinguish karna possible nahi ho raha tha as per the time scale of the spectrophotometer i hope this is very much clear to you next move on to the next example so i always uh, say students ki agar aapka science bahut strong hai aap bahut acche se um, science aap develop kar lete ho to koi bhi exam ke liye darna nahi hai aur infinite question solve karna nahi hai focus on science you are a science students be very confident about it and definitely koi bhi exam aap bahut easily solve kar sakte ho now wahan pe humne group of atoms ke bare mein kaha tha wahan pe humne kar liye hai yahan par bhi is exam me in this i am considering this example okay yahan pe hum jo karenge iske bare mein padhai karenge in this case the group of atom is this one yahan pe ye jo rudenium carbonyl group of atoms hai it is actually whizzing around the overall system theek hai so yahan pe hum dekhenge overall एक्सक्यूज मी सी एट एच एट लिगान जो है वहां पर यह बहुत ही रैपिडली मूव कर रहे हैं तो क्या होता है कि एक्सरे डिफ्रैक्शन ने पहले कहा था अकॉर्डिंग टू एक्सरे एक्सरे डिफ्रैक्शन स्टडीज ऑफ द सिंगल क्रिस्टल्स वहां पर इट हैज बिन फाउंड दैट इट इज इन द इटाफोर मोड इन द इटाफोर मोड 
बट एट हाई टेम्परेचर और एट रूम टेम्परेचर हमें क्या मिल रहा था एट रूम टेम्परेचर एक्सपेक्टेडली हाई टेम्परेचर जो हमें मिल रहा था द टेम्परेचर इज हाई तो हमें एक ही पिक वी वे एक्चुअली गेटिंग वन पिक Why? Due to the whizzing of this group, due to the whizzing of this group around the ligand, C8, CH88 ligand. ठीक है? ये इटाफोर मोड में है, फिर लेकिन फिर भी इतना फास्ट ये मूव कर रहे थे, as if all the non-equivalent protons को distinguish नहीं कर रहे ये गए गए थे, और it was behaving as a flagellar molecule. लेकिन जैसे जैसे आप टेम्परेचर को डिक्रीज करते जा रहे हो बहुत ज्यादा डिक्रीज करते जा रहे हो एट एक्सट्रीम लो टेम्परेचर लो टेम्परेचर में क्या हो गया तो मॉलिक्यूल जो है वो बन जाता है रिजिड और वही कंडीशन में अब जितने भी नॉन इक्वलम प्रोटॉन्स हो उसे बहुत अच्छे से क्योंकि उसका जो इंटर इसका जो मूवमेंट है इसका जो कंप्लीट इसके इतना फास्ट जो मूवीज कर रहे थे मूव कर रहे थे इसका मूवमेंट एकदम कंप्लीटली मतलब बहुत स्लो हो जाता है इतना स्लो दैट आप सारे नॉन इक्वल प्रोटॉन्स को अच्छे से डिस्टिंग्विश कर सकते हैं जब ये इटा फोर मोड में फिक्स्ड हो जाते हैं ये अभी पहले क्या हो रहा था इटा फोर मोड में थे लेकिन कंप्लीटली इसका इसका जो मूवमेंट था द विजिंग अराउंड जो था ये इतना फास्ट था विजिंग अराउंड द ग्रुप ऑफ द लीग एंड विजिंग अराउंड द लीग एंड इतना फास्ट था दैट आप नॉन इक्वल प्रोटोन्स को डिस्टिंग्विश नहीं कर पा रहे थे विथ द लोअरिंग द टेम्परेचर अ टाइम फ्रॉम्स वेन इट बिकम्स एन ऑफ रिजिड एंड द Whizzing of this becomes so slow that all the non-equilibrium protons now get distinguishable. So you can easily see H A जो है यहाँ पे there are four different types of यहाँ पे there are four different types of protons H A two numbers of H A and then you have two numbers of H B then you have two numbers of H C. And last but not the least, you are having two numbers of HD protons. So now at extremely low temperature, you are getting how many peaks? You are getting four peaks. You are getting four peaks. तो दिस इज वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट अगेन स्टूडेंट्स फॉर यू फॉर यू ऑल मैं आप लोगों को ये नोट फॉर्म में दिया है ना सी वही मैं आप लोगों को बोल रही थी एक्स डिफ्रैक्शन जो स्टडी है वो स्टडी इसे टेट्राहेप्टो दिखा रहे थे बस स्टिल वो एक ही एट रूम टेम्परेचर जो है एट रूम टेम्परेचर इवन इट वॉज A tetrahepto eta four mode at room temperature. It was actually consisting of a sharp line, a single sharp line. It was actually given only a single peak. ठीक है? Why? Due to the rapid movement or the whizzing of the group of atoms around the ligand. So as the room temperature वहाँ पे क्या हो रहा था? Ring जो है, it was moving along very quickly around the metal system. So as a result of which, ये जो time scale of the NMS experiment है, वो सारे signal को average कर रहे थे और as a result of which आपको एक ही peak मिल रहा था। लेकिन जब temperature अब धीरे-धीरे slow करते जा रहे थे, उसके वजह से the motion of the ring, very interesting, very important, इतना slow हो गया that आप आप जो non equivalent जितने भी protons हैं, उसके वजह से आप उसे distinguish कर सकते हो। और हमने देखा there are four non equivalent protons, as a result of which with the lowering of the temperature, ये signal gets broadened and it gets separated into four peaks. Into how many peaks? Into four peaks due to the presence of the four non equivalent protons. I hope this is clear to you. And now, ये इसके ऊपर ही क्वेश्चन आए थे. So see what they have written. The H1 NMR. This is actually the CSI Net June 2016. They have given you one question over there. This is the H1 NMR spectrum of this complex. The same complex, similar, exactly the similar complex they have given. ठीक है. At 23 degrees Celsius, when the temperature is high. ठीक है. At 23 degrees Celsius means when the temperature is at room temperature.
सो मैंने क्या कहा था ड्यू टू द रैपिड मूवमेंट ऑफ द ग्रुप ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ दैट मेटल रोदीनियम कार्बोनल मेटल रैपिड मूवमेंट की वजह से हमें एट रूम टेम्परेचर क्या हो रहा था वी वर गेटिंग अ सिंगल शार्प लाइन वही चीज सेम लाइन एवरी थिंग इज सेम जो चीज हम आपको पढ़ाएंगे बुक से पढ़ाई करके वही चीज पढ़ाई करके एग्जामिनर्स क्वेश्चन बनाते हैं तो अगर वो थियोरीज ऑफ पढ़ाई करोगे आप सारे आंसर्स कर पाओगे दिस इज द एक्चुअल रूल सो जैसे जैसे आपने टेम्परेचर को डिक्रीज कर दिया डिक्रीज कितना किया देखो डिक्रीज होते होते ये हो गया माइनस वन फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड द आंसर इज स्पेक्ट्रम इज सो हाउ मेनी पिक्स यू गेटिंग वेन इट बिकम्स द मॉलिक्यूल बिकम्स रिजिड यू नो विद द लोअरिंग ऑफ द टेम्परेचर द मॉलिक्यूल बिकम रिजिड एंड ऑल द नॉनिक्यूल एंड प्रोटोन्स एंड नाउ डिस्टिंग विशेबल एंड वी हैव सीन दैट देर आर फोर नॉन इक्यूल एंड प्रोटोन्स एट वेल दैट्स वाई एट एक्सट्रीमली लो टेम्परेचर वी आर गेटिंग फोर पिक्स so i hope you enjoyed uh, watching our video thank you for watching our video thank you do like share and subscribe our channel kem pacific thank you